Hey guys, welcome back to AB's channel, and today we're going to be doing my league episode number six. Um, so this is what the team looks like. I want to show you guys the rotation before we start, just so you guys know what the team looks like. Um, we're starting Kyle Corver right now and, and Trevor Booker. They'll probably hop out of the lineup pretty soon. Actually, right now I'm gonna start a Linux. I don't know why they always put Trevor Booker in. So we're gonna start a Linux. Waiting Gabriel, I really like him. Um, 13 points per game. And then off our bench, we got Tyler Eulis, Yogi Ferrell, Brandon Knight, Cunningham, and Booker. We kind of need a backup center. So we might look into that. Because um, Zubak is our only center. He's averaging 11 a game. So that's what the lineup's looking like. Let's go check out the awards. Uh, or we can look, let's look at the all star participants so the Hornets have two all-stars uh, all right so we don't have any all-stars Lonzo Ball that's obvious because he's doing really well really well so um and then award races looks like Russ Russell will probably win it because he's averaging a triple-double and then Lonzo Ball wow we're not even on the, this list we probably should have traded up for some more draft picks. But it's fine. Corey Joseph. Mason Plumley. So let's get into the actual video. Uh, so the first thing I wanted to check out is the contract extensions. Um, Josh Richardson, let's go ahead and re-sign him. I kind of, let's see, what's his numbers? Um, will he take three years? We'll give him two years. Okay, he accepted our offer. Perfect. Uh, and then Cunningham. We're not going to re-sign him. So now let's simulate through some games. Um, the contract extension is down here and the trade deadline is down here. So um, let's look and see what our roster looks like to see if we want to get rid of anyone. I really like the team right now. Um, Dante Cunningham, he's not even making that much money. So and we'll probably lose him after this year. So I think the team's fine. Uh, I'm just looking forward to the off season, really. So let's just go through here. Um, no, we're not trading Wade and Gabriel. He's a good player. And then Tim Hardaway's back. Oh, that's that's really helpful. So the CP will put him in. Wow, we put up 131 points that last game. Look at that, 131 against the Timberwolves. Um, no, we'll keep going because we don't want to trade anyone. That's why I really like putting in uh, trading for Brandon Knight because right like we're scoring a lot of points now. Like in the beginning of the year, we were only scoring like eighty seven, you know. Not and we're not we weren't getting close to hundred. So let's check out the three games that we just played. The uh, we scored a hundred thirty one points. Excuse me guys, I couldn't get that out. Um, Carl Anthony Towns got a double double, and then Tyus Jones with 15 assists. That's insane, and he only scored four points. So in 26 minutes, I don't know how you get 15 assists in 26 minutes, but he did it. Carl Anthony Towns didn't miss a free throw, and then waiting Gabriel did well. Wow, all of our players had a great game. We had. We had seven players that had ten or more points, and then Trevor Booker got ten, ten boards, and Jeff T got fourteen assists. So really good game there. Um, let's check out the other ones. We were looking at that for too long. Anthony Davis had twenty five. Not I'm not surprised. And then Cousins also had twenty points. They have Iman Shumpert and Glenn Robinson. Didn't we get rid of Glenn Robinson? I think we traded him. His numbers are actually gone up a little bit, but I don't know. Waiting Gabriel's he uh he scored twenty four. He led the team again. Zubal cut a double double and Tyler Eulis, uh he had eleven assists. If he had another basket that he would have gotten a double double. But not uh he didn't get it though. I love this man. Waiting Gabriel leads the team. Zubok 
Jeff Teague. This is the consistent uh, scoring lineup. I want Tim Hardaway to get his numbers up. But um, the rest of the team's playing great. Plus 25 for Jeff Teague. Man, the team's looking really good. And then are we supposed to make the playoffs? No, we're pretty much we're a game back. Um, so let's simulate... Let's simulate, um, I think we're going to end the uh, season after this video, guys. So, we're going to go halfway through the season, which is, like, right here on March 24th. We'll, re um, yes. Let's see if anyone else can, is that for a contract extension? Oh, wait, what am I doing? Contract extension. Okay, I mean, it's too late now, Dante. We're not going to resign you anyway, but. So we were at March 24th, and we're going to simulate through these dates. We were in the playoffs there. We lost by two to the Magic. Okay. This is looking good. Oh, and then waiting Gabriel gets out. Um, Let's leave the rotation as, because he's day-to-day. -day. Yes, that was a good idea, I guess. And then he's back, so we didn't have to change anything. Uh, and then he gets, oh my gosh, so he tweaks it, and then he gets injured right after he's fully healed. That's crazy. We're probably going to start losing, dude. Um, great, now of our players are getting injured. Trevor Booker's back. Let's start winning some more games. So we are in a playoff spot, and the good thing is that... We were only two games back from the seven, the six seed, so um, we can actually make a playoff spot pretty easily if we just win games and the other teams lose games. So let's look at the playoff picture. Actually, let's just go to the standings because that that'll give us a better review of the st um, the standings. So uh, the Rockets are leading the league in record and uh, they have the best record in the league right now. Eric Gordon. Where's James Harden? Is he injured? Oh, he's injured? Oh, they might start losing some games, but they're already locked in for the playoffs. Because they've clinched the playoff berth. Um, who's the worst team? The Grizzlies? What happened to the Grizzlies? Both Mark Gasol and Mike Conley are both playing, and they're somehow their last. That makes no sense. Uh... Why did why did he how did he invite me? Uh, uh, we're just not gonna worry about that right now. Um, power rankings. So yeah, the Rockets are number one, and then we are number twenty one. We've gone up. I think we were twenty three or something. So not a drastic change, but uh, definitely something to look forward to in the future. Um, let's 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 look, 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 look at these some um, let's look at these games. Uh, the Jazz. We didn't look at this one yet. Gordon Hayward at 31. He just got. Tr uh, he just signed with the Celtics, so um, he'll be on the Celtics in 2K18. Right when I get 2K18, guys, I'll probably do a my career series, and I will also do a um my league series because that's gonna be really cool doing a my league series with all the new rosters and all the new players actually being in the game, not just you know. Putting Lonzo Ball in with, for the draft class. He'll actually be in the game on the Lakers. So let's look at this. Yogi Ferrell, I don't know what's going on, man. I mean, I think he needs more minutes or something. That was just a really bad game for him. Tim Hardaway led the team. Uh, how did we win this game, man? I can't believe we won this. Zubak, he's having a great year, guys. He's averaging 12-8, and 8, which is really good. Um, but... Let's look at what's going on around the league because um, we pretty much know our players. Like our players, this is we obviously know that all these guys are great. I really like the team right now. Um, I'm hoping this guy can develop. We might give him some minutes if we like struggle in the off season. Um, more than likely, we're just gonna do the draft for the off season because Tim Hardaway. And Jeff T, we both we picked up both of them last year, and they both um, like the salary. They really like their money. I'd assign them for for a lot. So let's go. 
it seemed like through this week, Wedding Gabriel's back. Let's go. And we lost to the Grizzlies, the worst team in the West. So somehow we lost to them. And then Tyler Eulis is injured. Um, we beat the Cavs, and then we lost to the Cavs on back-to-back -back games. So let's just keep simulating. We beat the Pacers. We're our playoff spot is slipping, guys. So we need probably let's just simulate through, see what happens. Come on, I want to make. I kind of want to make the playoffs, and not, I kind of don't because I want to be in the lottery. Waiting, Gabriel. He's this. This guy is getting beaten up, man. Come on. Oh, we're in the playoffs. Oh my gosh, let's go. We made the playoffs. Oh my gosh. Everyone, you guys need to drop a like for that. We made the playoffs for uh, in our second season, which is pretty good for an expansion league. Russell Westbrook, no doubt, he deserved the MVP because he averaged a triple double in back to back seasons. So, honestly, I don't think he's going to, in real life, I don't think he's going to average a triple double, but we'll see. Rookie of the year, no doubt, Lonzo Ball. His numbers went down just a tad. Um, he was averaging close to 10 assists and. And around 24 points, but he went down. Six man goes to Corey Joseph. Andre Drummond, he pulled in a, a few around that. That's 16 rebounds per game. That's a, that's crazy. He's averaged a ton of rebounds. Maybe he got injured this year or something. Oh, that was his rookie season. I was looking at his career. Okay, yeah, his rookie season, he wasn't great, but those, those are good numbers. Larry Nance got most improved. I think if you win most improved, you should have more than 10 points. More than like 11 or 12 points. So obviously, Kevin McHale got coach of the year because his team, I th I'm pretty sure they had the best record. Um, wow, Carl Anthony Towns made first team. Uh, he's he's probably, the guy's on the rise. A lot of people are saying that he's going to be good. He's going to be an all-star next year or the year after. I s I'll put him, I'll say next year he makes it because he'll have a good team around him. And usually if you have a good team, you are uh, you have a better chance of making the All-Star game. Uh, Dallas Mavericks and Alonzo Ball, he made second team. That's good for a rookie. We, I doubt we, we, yeah, we don't have anyone. Mike Conley. All right, not too bad. All-defensive team. Chris Paul, I guess Chris Paul is a good defender. I don't really know that. But I think he made the offensive defensive team yeah last year too. So I don't know what's going on there. All defensive team number two. Like I would probably put John Wall as a better defender than Chris Paul. Tell me if you guys agree in the comments section. Uh let's look at the all rookie team. Wow, we didn't have anyone in the all rookie first team. Second team? No. What how did Wedding Gabriel not make it? These guys did put up some good numbers. I wish we would have drafted more players. 19 a game for Fultz. Like, number 10, I would have, number 12, Darian Fox went number 12. I would have picked, I would have traded for that pick. So let's look, go to the playoffs. Let's simulate the first round. Let's just simulate, yeah. If we lose this first round, which I probably, probably will, um, yeah. I'm not surprised by that. Just because we were the we were the eighth seed. Lowry had 37. Like waiting, Gable can't be leading the team. I guess we're gonna submit the playoffs. I'm sure the Warriors will win easily. They 4-0 swept, of course. So Kevin Durant won Finals MVP again, kind of like in real life. Um, is that is that all there is? Okay, let's look at this. Okay, guys, so that is going to wrap up the video for My League episode number six. Uh, we The next episode will be all off season, so make sure to go check out that episode. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. It helps me out a lot.